Thank you, viewers. I am Tutor Kletu Sokoli. In our class today, we shall be taking this Olympic mass question. We have some similar questions like this in my channel in the past. But today we have this. So, if x to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144, what is the value of x? Watch till the end. It is going to be a brief video. Meanwhile, if it is your first time of stopping by, kindly subscribe to my channel for my exciting videos. In solution to this question, we are given x to the power of x to the power of 6 equal to 144. The first thing that we do, I will start by the right hand side and I will write 144 in index form. And you know with me that 144 is 12 to the power 2, which means 12 times 12. Therefore, I can write x to the power of x to the power of 6 equal to 12 to the power of 2, which is equal to 144. Then, I want to multiply the exponent that is the power, which is 6. What does that mean? It implies that I shall not be writing x to the power of x to the power of 6 or multiplied by power 6. Therefore, by the right hand side, I do the same thing. 12 to the power 2 or multiplied by power 6. Alright. Let us look at this. The law of indices that uh, always comes up when this type of question in Olympic comes up. That if I have n, okay, to the power of x or multiplied by the power of y, that it is equal to n to the power of x times y. What it means is that I will multiply the powers, okay? I am going to apply that here. So that I will now write 2 multiplied by 6. If x inside the bracket can multiply with the power y outside the bracket, it implies that I will have x, y. So, I will do that. And doing that, what that shall result to me in this question will not be that 2 times 6 will not give me, okay, 12. Also, I want you to see that I can interchange the powers to have it as m to the power of y x. They mean the same thing because multiplication is commutative. That is, 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times 2. Beautiful. x times y is equal to x times y. And I can also write it as m to the power of y all equal to the power of x. So if it is power, of y outside the bracket can come inside as written here. It implies that that is what I will do by the left hand side in this my equation. Therefore, I will switch the positions. What I have here inside the bracket is power of x to the power 6 and outside the bracket I have power 6. So I'm going to switch the positions. Okay? Let 6 be my y. So y will not come inside the bracket. And let x to power 6 be my x, which will not come outside the bracket. Therefore, I will now write x, alright, to the power of 6. Now, my x to power 6 now comes outside the bracket to be this. Beautiful. What have I done? This is what I have here. And I have changed it to become what I have here as this. That they are equal according to the law of indices. Meanwhile, by the right hand side, I will now have, since the exponents can multiply, to give me x times y, I will multiply 2 and 6 to get 12 to the power of 12. Beautiful. Now, I want you also to acknowledge this law of indices that says that if I have n to the power of n, it is equal to n to the power of n. Therefore, provided that n is greater than or equal to 1, I will now have it that n is equal to n. This is a law of indices. n to the power of n is equal to n to the power of n. Therefore, the base is equal to the base. 
the base by the left is equal to the base by the right. What does that mean? Inside the bracket by the left hand side is my base. Okay, and by the right hand side my base is 12. So I can simply say that this base inside the bracket is equal to the base I have by the right hand side which is 12. And if you like you can also say that the power is also equal to the power by the right hand side. That is, the power by the left hand side is equal to the power by the right hand side. So in conclusion we can now write that therefore by these laws that authenticates what we are doing that the x to the power of 6 is equal to 12. And for me to remove this 6 here, I will apply the both sides by the power of 1 over 6. That is x to the power of 6 multiplied by 1 over 6 is equal to 12 to the power of 1 over 6. So that 6 can cancel 6 to give me x equal to 12 to the power of 1 over 6, which is the same thing as then the sixth root of 12. Final answer. That is the value of x. Alright? As the question has asked us to find. But then, let us authenticate our answer. What do I mean by that? I want us to replace the value of x as 6 root of 12 into the question we are given to see if it will give us what we have by the right hand side, which is 144. Mass is life. Alright. Doing that, I shall now have here x to the power of x to the power of 6 is given to us to be 1, 4, 4. Right. My x now is the... Because I want you to know this, that the 60 root of 12 is the same thing as 12 to the power of 1 over 6. So I'll be interchanging this. Where I have 60 root of 12, I can write it as 12 to the power 1 over 6. So, meaning that my 60 root of 12 to the power of 60 root of 12 to the power of 6, okay, is equal to 144. Now, I can now write here as 12 to the power of 1 over 6 or to the power of another 12 to the power of 1 over 6. But then I have 6 outside there. Alright? Multiply by 6. Is it equal to 144? See with me. By that law that says that x to the power n into m is equal to x to the power n times n. I will now multiply this. And when I multiply the two, what I shall have is, that is, I have... 1 over 6 multiplied by 6 is equal to 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. So, in other words, what I will now have is 2f to the power of 1 over 6, or to the power of this multiply this will now give me 1, and that becomes 12. Beautiful. That is 12 to the power of 1 is 12. Also, I can write this to become multiplying 1 over 6 inside the bracket with a 12. Okay, outside the bracket, and that becomes 12, then, then 12 over 6, which is equal to 12, 6 divided here will give me 2. Therefore, 12 to the power 2 is equal to what I have here, 144. And as you can see, that 12 to the power 2 is equal to 144, authenticating our answer that the value of x is simply the 60 root of 12. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Kindly subscribe to my channel and then give thumbs up to my videos. God bless you.